hey you guys welcome or welcome back to another vlog my name is mink and of course this is mink's kinks okay hey y'all i'm so excited we got another vlog chat and i'm actually all dressed and ready to go my hair is officially um a little over a week straight so and she is still going strong i had to redo it <clears throat> come on lady come on back I did have to redo it a couple days after I initially did it the first time um, and that was because my hair was just starting to puff up and then my aunt who is um, my hairstylist of sorts I guess um, she told me to use a little bit of oil so I had this Mazzani oil I applied it and then I straightened and so far it has been you know good so far and y'all can see she still got some some body in there and um, I did get a trim when I was in Cleveland last weekend. So hair is still holding strong. I'm going to try to get to three weeks. Okay. Um, let me tell y'all. Y'all know I have a very dry and very itchy scalp. Okay. And when I tell you the scalp is dry. The scalp is in fact itchy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All of those things are true. All of those things are in fact true. Okay. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm getting ready to head out. So I did borrow my cousin's pattern beauty blow dryer. So I'm about to go run that to her. I do also have an Amazon return that I need to go take to Kohl's, which isn't too far away. I need to stop at CVS to get some toilet paper. I told y'all the 20% off. Y'all know I don't play about my CVS, okay? At all. And um, I may go to Lowe's today. Or I may not though. I have my wax appointment. Y'all know I'm a Brazilian girly. <laughs> I have my wax appointment on Wednesday um, and that's driving right past the low so I probably will just wait to do that until Wednesday. I get off at 2 on Wednesday because Thursday is Thanksgiving. So I think I might have told you guys in a couple vlogs at this point I don't plan to shop for Black Friday. What I plan to do on Friday is put up my Christmas decorations. I'm ready okay cue the temptations. Huh? Cue the temptations. Cue, cue Whitney Houston's holiday album. Like I, I, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm ready for all of that. Um, it's that season. I feel like the holidays crept up on us like they always do. But this year, girl, I blinked. October gone. I blinked. Today is November twentieth. I blinked. It's gonna be Christmas. I blinked. It's gonna be 2024. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's exactly what I'm about to go do is do those couple errands. I may pick up something to eat. I may not. Girl, who knows at this point, okay? Girl, today was such an irritating day at work. I'm gonna make this quick. Um, today was just such an irritating day at work and I don't know if it's like national piss to me off day. Girl, cause everybody has been acting a monkey today. Uh-huh. A, a rabbit fool okay so i do have a couple things to show y'all once i get home including some stuff from bath and body works i do have a book review that i also need to give you guys um as far as the rest of this vlog it's probably going to be um a, a little cute cute little vlog you know what i'm saying because we will be um decorating for christmas we will be unpacking i have a new it's not a new tv my aunt gave me her tv and the legs finally came yesterday i put the legs on the tv so i just gotta put the tv up okay girl this is why i need a man this is girl i ain't trying to be lifting no heavy tv girl girl but yeah so i'm excited i hope to get some cleaning done this vlog y'all know i stay cleaning like my house just can't stay stay clean for more than a minute it just can't so yeah y'all i'm gonna head out of here because i'm just yap 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 yapping let me let me get on out of here hey you guys so i am back today is actually tuesday so do i have on the same clothes from yesterday yes i do mind your business but yeah y'all so i did do my little bit of running around yesterday and i've literally just been in the same clothes since. okay but i wanted to come on because i have a couple things so i went to bath and body works and got the new things like i was telling y'all so i want to show y'all that stuff i got something in pr i got a package and i want to do a book review so sit tight we're gonna be here for a little minute but i just want to run through this stuff with you guys real quick so first we'll start with our bath and body works haul 
and um so of course the first thing that i started with is hand soap as y'all can see i think i told you guys um i just stay locked and loaded with bath and body works hand soap it's just something that i love it's it's like a small luxury for me um so they were on sale for 250 295 something like that so i got four of them girl i spent like 12 dollars on them the four of them will last me a cute little minute so so as for scents, the first one that i got is pink sparkling spirits cute little simple packaging it has little snowflakes on it it's cute the fragrances are bubbly ginger ale pink spark pink sugar and raspberry fizz and y'all this actually smells so so good you definitely get that hint of like ginger ale which sounds so random but that raspberry really really takes it over the top i think this is very subtle but it does smell like clean and just smells good i i can see me repurchasing this one i can see this being like a staple hand soap scent too next i got kitchen lemon y'all know i i just love kitchen lemon i actually have a refill of the kitchen lemon but i put it in um my sandalwood container which is pink and i just like this packaging with the white and lemons on it so i picked this up just so that i could refill it in this container which yes sounds bad but next i got lavender cloud um this is a new scent for me i've never tried this one this is serene lavender cozy sandalwood and eucalyptus and listen it sounds like a lot it really does sound like a lot but it's 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 not that bad so off that first sniff you get the the lavender is the first thing you smell but then there's like a light um a little hint of eucalyptus it's not anything crazy y'all know i'm a sandalwood girl i wouldn't necessarily put these together on my own but together it smells really really good i think that bath and body works did a good one with this one and then last but not least as for hand soaps i did have to get a christmasy one for when i put up my christmas decorations which will be in this vlog i'm so excited this is the gingerbread bakery and this one is gingerbread cookies brown sugar and brown sugar icing and cinnamon spice so this one is definitely you smell that that initial sweetness gourmandy situation um but i also think you do get that hint of cinnamon which i feel like brings it back down to life a little bit that one's not gonna be for everybody but i do like me a little warm scent especially during holiday season so i also did get some plugins so i'll run through the scents which are with these as well um this is vanilla bean noel can never go wrong then i have cuddle weather i don't think i've ever had cuddle cuddle weather but this one says it's warm and comforting so mm. i have raspberry thumbprint and i remember smelling this in the store and it smelled so so good this is labeled fruity and happy i have pistachio and toasted vanilla now listen i got my mom a candle from bath and body works years and years and years and years ago i was still in college i didn't have a car at that point i don't think um and i got my mom this pistachio candle from bath and body works they never brought the candle back but i loved that candle so much so that i stole hers yeah um so i wish that they would bring this back but uh, pistachio yes ma'am and then lastly for plugins i got sun drenched linen which is if you watch my empties y'all know i always have sun drenched linen it just smells good it smells clean can never go wrong and then before we get into my packages i just want to do this quick book review so the book that i finished today is called yanka where's your husband by lizzie blackburn and honestly i just love the cover on this book i don't even think i knew what this book was about initially when i picked it up but i believe i believe i got this one at barnes and noble girl i don't know where i picked this one up i'm pretty sure it was barnes and nobles and of course i highlighted in pink because the cover's pink so you know so it's been a little bit of a while since i've read this book so i have my notes on my phone y'all know i take notes on my phone when i'm reading books because i like to give you guys the tea on a book when i read it so let me start out by saying i gave this book four stars and i picked this up because i wanted something um lighter weight like nothing too too heavy i didn't want to read a romance that was going to take me out the game like it had me crying all over the place this book is about a 20 something year old girl she was in a relationship with this guy for like three years it ended up not working he moved to america this took place in the uk and um it's so funny reading books from the uk but i actually have a good bit in my collection um but anyway so she's just trying to find her her footing she is 
I want to say she's Nigerian and British so there's a lot of expectations on her career wise family wise and just like trying to have the whole the whole thing figured out okay and she I want to say she's turning 30 or is like after 30 um but there's a lot of pressure from like her family to 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 get it together honey so she lost the boyfriend so that went out the window she ends up losing her job that goes out the window and a lot of it is her just finding herself so the main character femi she is just um making a lot of stupid mistakes that she typically wouldn't make um but it's just because it feels like everything's happening to her at once so her cousin is getting married and the end goal for the book is to find a date for her cousin's wedding the cousin who she's put against a lot of times so what i did love about this book is that they were short journal like entries i love a book like that um especially since this is more like adult like there's nothing it's not spicy at all um but it was so so relatable especially being a 20 something um i'm gonna be 25 in february so i i definitely understand the like pressures that society is putting on you to to try and have it all and have your whole life figured out and girl that's just not possible I will say that it was a little bit frustrating reading it um her family isn't fair you know they're um she's going through a lot of major major life changes so there's that pressure to be in a relationship her ex who she was with forever is engaged to be married her sister just had a child and she lost her job and I felt like a lot of her family friends um didn't give her a lot of grace she had a lot of big things happening and i just wish that they would have given her more grace and been more supportive but you know life be messy that way i will say there are a couple things that i didn't necessarily like about the book but added character to the book um lizzie was a little bit or i'm sorry femi lizzie's the author femi our main character was a little bit desperate she was a little bit desperate she was accepting a lot of stuff that she absolutely should have never accepted now granted i feel like that comes with the territory when you were in a relationship for such a long time and you're getting back on a dating scene girl she just accepted some things that i wish she wouldn't have oh she's a virgin she's like a 30 year old virgin which everybody is like girl hello um so that's definitely a key element of the book as well especially once she starts to date um, and then the other thing that kind of threw me off a bit was, I don't know, child, I don't know why I keep saying Femi. I'm pretty sure that was her ex-boyfriend. The main character in this book is Yinka. The book is called Yinka, Where's Your Husband? Child, I don't know what's going on through my head. But Yinka also had a bit of internalized colorism. Now listen, everybody might not say it, but I will. She had a little bit of internalized colorism. Uh, a lot of that kind of stemmed from her family. She was bullied in school. Her dad, who really spoke life into her and, and confirmed her beauty, passed away from a young age. And that kind of changed the way she viewed men and life and all of those things as well. So she definitely had a little bit of internalized colorism and compared herself a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And it was like, girl, cut it out, okay? Because you're going down a, a dangerous road wrong row okay um but overall like i said i did give the book four stars it was a good book it's 370 ish pages and like i have been telling y'all in a lot of my book content i have been trying to find books that speak to this like awkward 20 something age that i'm in and i feel like this this was definitely a good book to start with it asked a lot of hard questions i saw myself a lot in this book honey um I, overall i do think it was a really really good book um so lizzie blackburn yes ma'am definitely a four star read for me it wasn't my favorite book of the year y'all know i've read a lot of books right now i'm on book 18 for the year um but it definitely was a good book and it's one that's been on my list for a really long time so i'm glad that i read it all right so now that we have that out the way i also have some pr which i'm really really excited about um and this is actually i want to say a eyelash growth serum yeah so this is from benefit it is the whoop whoop lash <laughs> it's called whoop lash <laughs> not whip lash whoop lash <laughs> the lash enhancing serum so that's what it looks like i'll take it out the package so y'all can see and it just looks like you know a typical mascara applicator thing 
So I'm excited about this. I have really been liking Lash Serums. The one I'm using right now, I want to say it's from L'Oreal. I want to say from L'Oreal. Um, so I'm excited to try this. It says apply nightly to clean dry lashes, which is what I do. I do my skincare and I apply this at the end. Um, gently apply to upper lash line and wipe away excess. Allow one to two minutes to dry before applying your skincare products. Me personally, I do it in reverse um, because I don't want to wipe any of this off before I do my skincare. So I usually end the night with my lash serum and my lip balm and keep it pushing. But it does say that 96% said it improves the appearance of lashes, which is which is interesting. So I don't know. I'm excited to see how this works out. But thank you to Benefit for sending it to me, girl, because y'all know I love a lash serum. I love a lash serum. And then last but not least, because we've been here forever, I did get a package. So I do have the Savage X Fenty. Um, I like signed up for their, y'all know, their like monthly subscription. But let me tell y'all, I have an alarm set on my phone to skip it every month because I really don't be needing nothing every single month. Like I wish, I wish, girl, I wish we didn't have to do all that. But I forgot to skip it this time, so they got me this time. But it actually worked out because, you know, the holidays are peeking around all in everything. So I was able to order something that I really, 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 really wanted. And it is none other than the Savage X Fenty. Oh, they didn't put the little paper in here. It's none other than their onesie, y'all. And I'm so, so, so excited. Listen, I love me a cute little onesie. Okay. I love me a cute little onesie. I will probably put this on when I am decorating my Christmas tree. Okay. And I'm going to film it for YouTube and TikTok. Okay. Which is, girl, going to be an experience. But listen, I feel like people don't be talking about that. Filming for YouTube and TikTok is so incredibly hard. Like, I be trying to get stuff on my camera and then getting stuff on my phone. Girl. But anyway, this was on sale for $25. So I was able to use my member credit. I want to say originally it's like $60 or something. But um, I was able to use my member credit. There's different options on like you can use one item. They have like gift sets where you could get multiple things. And there was a really good one where you could get four bras. Um, or like two bras and two pairs of underwear like they have a bunch of different sets So if you're into that, I would definitely look into it. I have a lot of Fenty bras. I have a lot of Fenty panties. I, I have a lot of Fenty stuff. Okay, and those workout leggings Don't play with her. They ain't nothing to play with. Rihanna put her foot in them. Mm-hmm But um, one of the things that I have really been wanting is this onesie. I also do want the robe There's a robe that I really really want I could get more leggings those workout leggings are just mm, just delicious but i've really been wanting this onesie so i'm excited that i got it and when i tell y'all this came in like three days like girl was here no 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 questions asked but y'all let me get up off this camera because it is approaching 15 minutes later and i'm still sitting here chit chatting with y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and go try my onesie on and baby wrap this hair up because i'm tired of it being down i only took it down so that i look presentable on a vlog y'all know i can't do this with my curly hair all the time but girl i'll talk to y'all later let me go read my book <laughs> hey you guys so it has actually been a few days since i picked up the camera so today is saturday like i was telling y'all hold on let me figure out where i want to put y'all so today is actually um friday and so today's black friday and when I tell y'all, I have been so good. I didn't buy anything. I mean, literally haven't bought nothing today. Um, and girl, why did I just get back from a date? Girl, two dates in a week. Hello? I feel like a city girl. I feel like a city girl, okay? Um, but yeah, I still kept my promise to God. I know I told y'all about my promise. I still kept my promise to God. And um, these are guys that I've actually known for a little minute. Um, can't give y'all too much detail okay today was definitely a good time i had a ball today um uh, we actually just went to go get some food but we tried a new place um and he's i just always have a good time when i'm with this guy so i also bought a new plant the other day when i went on the other date girl but this is my other plant and i did buy this little um vase as well so this is an exotic angel plant yeah that's what it's called an exotic angel plant and come on camera quality this is what she looks like and it's so funny because i also asked on instagram what i should name her 
and my mom was like oh her name should be pearl and then i had a subscriber who also replied and said her name should be pearl so since i had two votes her name is now pearl and she has this super cute white container and y'all i'm just such a plant mom for real so since i was occupied and busy today i um didn't put up my christmas tree but tomorrow is saturday and i plan to do that tomorrow as well as you know just do some laundry and stuff because i have so much laundry around here but as for right now i think it's yeah it's 8 30 so i'm just getting ready to go ahead and decompress so um one of my curl friends she recently moved into her own apartment urban fab curls and i've been loving watching her journey um so i'm gonna go watch the video that she dropped today um i think i want to paint my nail oh maybe i'll paint my toes because i'm putting on my christmas tree tomorrow so you know i don't want no chip nails or nothing child but just take a shower and just kind of vibe out for the rest of the night um but yeah y'all i just wanted to hop on and give you guys a little bit of an update i didn't record anything for thanksgiving because it's just such an intimate environment everybody doesn't want to be on camera so i just decided not to do it girl my straight hair as y'all can see is gone baby so i was at um, my cousin's house and it was so freaking hot in there girl i went to the bathroom hair was poof okay so that's it on the straight hair so i just have it in this claw clip i'll probably leave it like this honestly for another week or so <laughs> i'll probably end up washing it next weekend which is when i wanted to do it anyway so um yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do but the straight hair was definitely a vibe i loved her for sure but yeah let me get up off this camera and just start start chilling hey y'all i know i look crazy okay I, listen okay straight hair is gone i think i told you guys that already before but as you guys can see i am all dressed and ready for the gym giving thicky on them we are working on abs today me and my cousin i gotta do my hair but girl i just slapped the bonnet on because guess what we are washing out the straight hair this weekend and i am so freaking excited because when i tell you my scalp is itchy i've been using the um pattern beauty the like itchy scalp serum hold on let me go grab it so mine is upside down as y'all can see there is literally like nothing left in here i picked mine up from uh tj maxx and marshall's it was like 12 dollars, and originally priced this product is 25 dollars. girl i'm never gonna pay 25 dollars for oil ever it's never gonna happen i don't know who's paying 25 dollars for this oil but i need a pattern to quit playing quit playing put me on a pr list then because me ain't no way I'm gonna pay $25 for this and honestly it says it's going to invigorate and cool and it does have a light minty feeling but it's not anything crazy to me like I wouldn't spend $25 on this like this just isn't that good to me I don't know y'all that's just me in my opinion personally I just don't think it's it's worth $25 but yeah so y'all know the holidays is when you get caught up gaining all the weight and stuff baby and listen, I like my little physique that I got going. I'm giving thicky on her, and I want to keep it that way. I'm slim thick. And you know, when you're on the teeter of slim thick, you can transfer over to thick real quick. Uh-huh. And listen, I've been gymming. I've been gymming, and I like where I'm at right now. So I'm going to the gym today. Reluctantly, girl. Um, but yeah, so that's what's happening. I didn't put up my tree this weekend, which sucks. I feel like the long weekend just you blink and it's over girl but you know i'm hoping to hopefully get it up between today and tomorrow i do have a lot of things that i need to film i want to review those always um like overnight disposable panties i'm gonna do a whole review for that feminine hygiene has been very popular on my channel between um like yoni pearls period panties shower routines all of those things those are actually very very popular on my channel so i've decided to just you know dibble and dabble with things like that since um people want to hear hear my opinion on it i'm i'm down <laughs> and then i also have a couple book reviews i literally just finished the book that i'm currently reading before i let go um so i just finished that i already did a book review of yinka where's your husband in this vlog so i will probably hold on to it until 
um, my next vlog but just know that that was a five star read a very 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 good book I think that I am going to do a dedicated video at the end of the year of books all the books that I've read um in 2023 girl that's gonna be like going down memory lane but I think it'll be a really good um video y'all know that i do mix miss which i'm so so excited about um so mix miss is um just seven days of christmas make edition y'all get an upload each and every day so i really need to start filming that because girl ain't no way i'm about to be i i have a nine to five okay so for the girlies who youtube and content creation is just their job and they're able to take some time out of the day every day to film and edit I can't do that. I have to pre-film um, because, listen, ain't no way. Ain't no way. That's why I don't do um, Vlogmas because there's just no way I could do um, 31 days of uploads. Like, girl, I can't, okay? So, I need to really start doing that because December starts at the end of this week, which is bananas. But um, once I revert back curly, I'll start to get my toes wet with a little bit of that stuff. But I do really think that I'm going to do a video with all the books that I've read this year. I won't be able to film that until obviously closer to Minx Miss because hopefully I'm able to get a book or two, you know, more. Okay, my goal this year was 12 and I just finished my 18th book. So I'm really excited and definitely very, very proud of myself because listen, baby girl is a librarian. Like y'all see all the books I have to the side, honey. Y'all see all the book hauls that I have. So... I'm really excited but unfortunately I did lose a soldier so y'all know I am a plant mommy through and through um, and this is my plant Oscar Oscar Fernando and I just haven't been able to get my boy right I have repotted him twice sat him in the window so he could possibly get more light because I thought maybe he wasn't getting enough light honestly he had a lot of brown leaves and stuff when I initially bought him and each and all of his leaves have just slowly been turning. Um, so y'all can see these two or three um, really big leaves are all brown and they sound really crispy. So I'm just going to take my boy out of his misery and I'm going to have to toss him today because I just I just can't get him right. And I hate that because all of my other plants are thriving, um, including my new little plant baby. I'm so excited. I think I told y'all I named her Pearl um so yeah it's okay so you can't win them all i do think that he had like root rot or something because i promise y'all i did everything i know how with this plant and he just was not girl he wasn't having it so unfortunately we did lose my man's oscar fernando hate that for me but you know it's all right it's all right <laughs> so i washed clothes yesterday so all my laundry is on the couch I have a few more things of laundry here and then I took my sheets off my bed so I want to go ahead and just you know clean up the house vacuum the floors you know clean everything up so after I get back from the gym I think that's what I'm gonna do but girl I have my work cut out for me so i'm at cvs because i got a 40 percent off yay and i would like to try this rosemary leave in i think that would be good i j literally just picked up the last as i am leaving so i'm getting that um but i also was in between these kim campbell products are just so pretty so so pretty um y'all know i like this cream of nature detangler so so good they have all the dew products um I would have got the new Shea Moisture Conditioner because I need a conditioner, but they're out of that. They have the curl cream, which I was also intrigued by. And then the other thing I was, I just knew I was gonna come get was this moisture conditioner from Monday Hair Care because I've heard so many good things about it, but it's $8 and my leave-in is 11. So with my 40% off, it just makes more sense to get the one um, the as I am leaving. But as you guys can see, they have Olaplex and they have it's a 10 so definitely excited about that hey you guys as you guys can see i finally started to fold some of that laundry up this is real close hold on because i child this bun has been uh, unfortunate ever since i put it in give me a second so i'm not fixing the bun but i did back up sorry i'm, I'm sorry y'all listen today has been such a good day y'all see i got on my christmas onesie because today is the day we're putting up this tree 
okay and i mean it and i mean it okay today has been such a good day so when i tell y'all i found out um about my raise for next year girl my bonus is gonna be in my check on friday today's wednesday so y'all know that means i'm living it up this weekend correct correct bookstores watch out because i'm about to act the fool okay and then y'all one of my guy friends he sent me money for lunch shout out to him thank you and then y'all drake is coming to pittsburgh drake and one of my favorite rappers j cole like what a dynamic duo i i wanted to go see drake and 21 savage but couldn't make it but drake and j cole are coming to pittsburgh and guess what my dad got me tickets thank you dad thank you so much thank you so much because guess what it's like two weeks after my birthday y'all know i had a terrible birthday last year terrible birthday last year um it was just it was just ghetto deeply unfortunate like my birthday is not my birthday without me crying are y'all like that i always cry on my birthday anyway um <laughs> but yeah last year was such a terrible birthday but y'all i'm gonna go see drake two weeks after my birthday and i i'm so excited i'm so excited i'm so excited so i have gotten so much good news today i'm just like girl hello what is going on is it like national like to me a day like what is going on so i found out about my bonus i found out about my raise i got sent money for lunch i got drake tickets like uh, what else can a girl ask for what else can a girl ask for okay so i will see you guys later when i am putting up my christmas tree but right now i am floating on call out man because girl i was gonna buy them drake tickets anyway but since somebody else wanted to buy them by all means i'm about to act a fool today's the day hey you guys i just wanted to come on and show you guys this fire pasta that i made it chat why i made this much and it's just me who knows you know pasta is one of them things that's just really hard to make when it's just you but it has spinach it has mushrooms um there's shrimp in there and then i use penne noodles and it's like an olive oil garlic butter type of base and i wish i would have recorded it because it actually turned out so so good but girl this is the best i could do because i'm not about to make any more i got y'all next time then Okay, you guys, so as you see, I finally have all of my Christmas stuff all up and out, all my blackly black Christmas decorations. This is a black Santa household. Girl, let me meet my phone because the people. I love it when y'all DM me, so DM me on Instagram. Let's chat, let's talk. Y'all know I just be talking anyway, so. But anyway, yeah, all my black Santas, all my decorations, child, they're everywhere. So I'm about to just finish putting some of the stuff away. Um, but yeah, I love having my tree up. Um, it's just like a mood lifter. I can't wait to fold this laundry up on my couch, child. It's already folded. I need to put it away. Um, but put that stuff up. Maybe I'll get ready to do that. Um, I'm going to make up my bed just so that I can lay on my couch. Y'all see I got the fireplace on YouTube. Listen, if y'all don't do that, like I'm, I'm questioning you. Because I be having a fireplace, I be having a rain. Listen, I be having like the city skyline. Like, and I just lay on my couch and I read, or I'll edit a video, or girl scroll on TikTok, like whatever, just to have some like background noise. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited. I'm gonna order my bookshelf tomorrow, which y'all very much long overdue for my bookshelf. I have been in this place, y'all. Can you believe it? It's been almost six months. I moved in here in August, so February will be my six months, which is also my birthday month, um, which is crazy. I can't believe it's already been six months since I've been here. Girl, that's absolutely crazy to me, but yeah, so I'm so happy. Um, I wasn't really sure about where I wanted my tree to go, but I'll have my bookshelf soon, so I'll be ordering that hopefully tomorrow um and then building that. I'm just really excited because my mom always says, like, give yourself six months 
um give yourself a year in your place and you will just accumulate so much stuff and it'll start to look like you know home for you and i finally feel like i'm like i've always i've been comfortable in this place but i feel like as i like finish unpacking and setting up decorations and getting furniture pieces and stuff um i'm really excited i of course still have some things that i want to do and figure out you know where i want to put things and all of that but i'm very excited with the way that my place is coming out right now so also y'all went to go see the beyonce movie with my cousin absolutely amazing y'all know that this is a beyonce stand account i love beyonce okay my top five wrap up i'll post a pop-up of it um like a screenshot um Oh girl, sorry, my tripod is back here. <laughs> I did film a TikTok um with me decorating. Um, you know, all of that. Um, but yeah, amazing movie. It was girl, it was like three hours. Now I'm gonna tell you, it was it was a little long for me, girl. Um, but it was beautiful. The movie was absolutely amazing. I love Beyonce's like tour movies. I remember she did the on the run one on the run one and i really enjoyed that me my mom and my sister would watch that so many times and like relive the concert so i'm really excited of course i got the drake ticket shout out to my dad for buying those for me for christmas i'm so excited drake and j cole i love j cole i went to go see him um years ago when he came to pittsburgh during his four souls drive tour I love J. Cole. He's one of my favorites. Drake. Listen, I love me some Drake. Okay. Love me some Drake. Um, and then of course I did go to dinner with my sister today. I don't think I got any of that, but we had a time like we always do, child. So yeah, y'all. I just wanted to hop on real quick and say hey, show you guys the tree. And I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog here. Of course, I have um or y'all, I'm actually gonna wash my hair tomorrow. So I'll be filming a hair routine. It's now December. So I have to film Minx Miss um, seven days leading up to Christmas. So tomorrow I'm going to plan out the things that I need to film and all of those things just to make sure that I have my plan so that I can execute because it always seems to creep up on me. Okay, it always seems to creep up on me. And then, you know, I'm scrambling to edit and everything. So I'm trying to be a little more proactive this year, child. But yeah y'all so that's the plan right now but i love you guys so 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 much i hope that you are in the holiday season um i know this can be a hard time for a lot of people so um i'm sending you your loved ones your family um all types of love and joy and happiness and i hope that 2024 is going to be a time for us all okay let's have a ball let's live it up and i can't wait to see where our channel goes next year child i'm talking like it's the end of the December, girl. I'll see y'all in the next vlog. I love you. Bye. <laughs>